Hey guys, it's Lena Blake with Three Fine Horizons. Another video for our CAD Management Weekly Blog. Also doing this video for my CAD Ninja, Elena. I told her I would show her how to, to do what we're going to cover in the video this evening. Dressed up tonight, special treat for you guys. Uh, don't get used to it. Um, anyways, uh, we want to know how to set up a custom PDF sheet size. And we're going to do that with BricsCAD and a program called Nitro PDF. Uh, I really like Nitro PDF. Uh, my partner Danny really does not like it, but uh, we won't hold that against him. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, so it's, a, it's an alternative to uh, Adobe Acrobat. And uh, it's very affordable. You can see there it's 96 bucks for a license. And um, that's actually a sale price. It's usually about 130 bucks, I think. Uh, but it's a full-fledged PDF editor and you can do a lot with it and one of the things you can do with it, one of the many things you can do with it, is you can uh, create custom PDF drivers. Um, so we're, we're going to do that. We're going to set up AutoCAD to print a custom sheet size. And uh, we might actually do two of those. So just a quick shout out, by the way, uh, CAD Management Weekly Blog was inspired by uh, Mentoring Mondays for Land Surveyors. So uh, MentoringMondays.xyz It's a cool video blog for Land Surveyors. They've got a different video topic every week. A um, couple good guys putting that together. So I encourage you, if you're a Land Surveyor, check it out. It's what inspired me to do the CAD Management Weekly video blog. So good folks over there at Mentoring Mondays. Alright, so let's show you how we're going to do this. Okay, so first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to go into a layout tab here in BricsCAD. And uh, we actually want to set up a new sheet. Um, and let's see. So that the custom sheet size we're going to set up is actually going to be 18 by 26. So I'm going to draw a rectangle from 0, 0. To 18 comma 26 so land surveyors in California have this really weird sheet size uh, that they have to use which is 18 by 26 uh, like nobody else in the world uses it uh, but they actually do sell paper rolls and mylar rolls of this sheet size I just realized I don't like my rectangle I drew it the wrong way because surveyors do northern eastings and CAD does Easting northing. So let's try new rectangle 0 comma 0 at 26 comma 18. Okay, so there's our sheet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just rename this to 18 by 26. And we're going to um, go into our page setup manager. And uh, so one of the problems we have right now is there is no 18 by 26 sheet size. Because surveyors are special, of course. We like to be special. So we need to, we need to set, it, set it up using our PDF, Nitro PDF driver, so that we have a drop down for 18 by 26. Okay, so here's how we're going to do that. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to click this PDF printer right here that and this gets installed when you install Nitro so Nitro PDF creator that's our PDF printer okay and uh, we are going to uh, we're going to edit this nope that's not what we want to do let's see remember how we do this now. Alright, so it's got this postscript custom page size. You can see I've already done this, right? So if I click on this now, I've got an 18 by 26 inch sheet. Let's just let's just show you how. If, once you have it in here. So once you create it, it'll show up in your list, okay, which is cool. And um, so what we want to do now is we want to say window. We want to window this bad boy. And we want to center the page. And let's just run a preview. Okay, so you can see that's just about perfect. Looks like we got a little bit on the one edge. So I always do 
the print area to size of page and make this one. Okay. So it's just about perfect. I'm a little bit worried we're getting that line on that edge. That might just be a bug. Let's window one more time. Okay, and then if you want, you can just test this with a plot. So we should just get a blank 18 by 26 inch sheet if we did this right. So that's fine. I'll just save it there. Okay, so that's what we got. Looks good to me. Right? So no line on that edge. Okay, but that didn't teach you very much. So let's do a new sheet size. So I am going to copy this. And we're going to do a uh, 36 inch by 48 inch sheet. We use that for some of our topos. Okay. So there's a 36 inch by 48. And we are going to go into our page. Oh, you know what? Before we do the page setup, let's fix our rectangle. So make sure we get to the right sheet here. So we are going to draw a new rectangle from 0, comma 0. And we're going to go... Uh, 48 comma 36 Oops. okay so there's our our new sheet so now we can go into our page setup okay now this one I know I don't have in there so we got to make it so the way you do that is you come down here to this postscript custom page size and you may not get this if you're using a different printer but we're going to get it because we're using the nitro PDF printer okay and then well, it's not letting me do it there. Let's try it here. Alright, so you got to come over here to settings. And then in settings, there's going to be a spot to do a custom sheet size. And I just got to remember where it's at. Is it here? Custom properties. Okay, so over here. So let me go back out and show you this one more time. Do you want to save changes? No. Okay, so we're gonna here we're in here in Nitro PDF. We're gonna go into our printer properties or plotter configuration editor is what BrickCAD BricsCAD calls it. Make sure that Nitro PDF creator is selected. And we're gonna go to settings, and then we're gonna come down here to custom properties, and then we're gonna go to pages. Okay, and uh, right here we are gonna create a custom size. So well, I thought we were going to do it here. Let's see, custom forms. There we go. We're going to hit add. Okay, and it'll let us put in our new sheet size here. So we're going to do 36 inches by 48. Okay, and the form name, we want to just put that in. 36 inch by 48. Okay, and we'll hit OK. We'll hit OK. Now this is a little bit tricky now. Um, you want You have to save this... You have to save a version of this PDF printer, Nitro PDF printer, that has your custom sheet sizes. And uh, AutoCAD uses a PC3 file to do that. So I'm going to go into RH Templates CAD. We have a spot for that called Plotters. And what I'm going to call this is Nitro Custom. Okay, so it'll have our custom sheets. We're going to just keep them all in one. Okay, now if I go to the top of my list, oh, no. Alright, I did something wrong because it's not in here, so let's uh, get out of here. Let's make sure we're pointed to the right spot. So I'm going to run my options, go down here to Files, and then Printer Support. So we need to have this plotter configuration path to the right spot. It's not. So I need to path it to that directory that has our custom PC3 files in it. And now, if we go into our page setup again, now we've got this Nitro Custom PC3. We can click that. And I still don't have my sheet size because, of course, that's what happens when you're trying to do a video. <laughs> so let's go back in, try it again, go to Settings, Custom Properties, Pages. Let's see if it's in our list here. It must not be. Nope, it is right there. 
36 by 48, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not showing up in that list. So let's do this. Let's save this. We may need BricsCAD to reload that PC3 file, so let's try this again. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm hoping it does. All right. So let's go back into our page setup. And we're going to grab our custom PC3. There it is. So I did have to get out of BricsCAD and get back in to get it to load that new sheet size. So now that we have the sheet size loaded, we can set our window to the new extents. Everything else looks good. Let's do a preview. Okay, now we've got a 36 by 40, 48 inch sheet. Okay, so I like it. Muy bueno. Okay, we're going to do one more of these. Whoa. And uh, we're going to go a little crazy. So I'm going to do... Uh, so most plotters only plot 48 inches wide. Um, so we're going to do a 48 by... Um, To do a 48 by 96 inch sheet. Okay, so that's a really big sheet, but you could actually plot it out if you wanted to. And so we, we don't really use those paper copies, but I like we do big big sheets like that so that we can send a single. You know, it's nice sometimes to be able to send a single PDF without a bunch of separate sheets and match lines and all that jazz. So it's it's kind of nice to be able to do this. So. So we'll go in and we'll do this again. So we're going to, uh, now you don't want to, we're keeping these all in custom. So we're going to open custom again. Settings, custom properties, pages, custom forms. We're going to add one. We're going to make it 48 inches wide by 96 inches long. Oh, and I didn't uh, change the name. Let's do that. 48 by 96. Okay, now we want to save that as, again, Nitro Custom. Okay. Now, I don't know, let's see if we did, so we didn't, I'm not going to restart BricsCAD. Let's just go back into Page Setup and see if it loads again. Okay, it does not, so you actually have to close BricsCAD down. So let's do that. This video is going to go a little long, but... I'm almost done. All right, so let's go into our, uh, let's get our rectangle note. So let's do our rectangle. So we're gonna go zero comma zero. This time I'm gonna do portrait instead of landscape. So I'm gonna do 96 comma 48. Oh, I did it backwards, sorry. I'm, uh, no, I'm doing uh, training, oh. a training video. Are you live with somebody? Nope. Oh. That's, hey, that's my wife crashing hey, my party. Hey, Sorry. Huh? I'm telling everybody you're crashing my party. Who's everybody? Everybody that's going to watch this video on YouTube. Can you delete it? No. Why? Because I'm, I'm training. Get out of here. Go away. Is there live people? No. Then what? All right. Sorry, guys. She interrupted me. Zero, zero. Then we want, and yeah, I'm just see, she got me all messed up. All right, rectangle, Delete. zero comma zero. Then we're gonna go forty eight comma ninety six. All right, there you go. So we got this nice tall sheet here. Okay, so hopefully when we go into page setup, we have our new sheet size here. We do. We can hit our window and preview. Okay, so obviously something did not work there. <laughs> so what we want is we got to set this to portrait. All right, now it's working. Okay, so now we've got um, a drawing here with three custom sheet sizes. So let's just save a copy of this. And I'm going to put it right in here. We're going to call this Bricks Custom Sheets. Can't show my face. 
Okay. And we got that PC3, so we're good. So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. Um, now we uh, we should be set up. You got if you have the Nitro PDF installed, you get your PC3 file. You get your page set up correct. You should be able to plot to those oddball uh, PDF sizes, no problem. So thanks for watching. Thank you.